I think the most important expectation and the biggest expectation of the future CMO is to lead the organization. And in order to lead the organization, there are almost critical success factors for the CMO um, to do that. And I believe that there are five things that are really important. First, don't lead marketing, lead growth, because growth is the outcome of the CMO role. Second, don't just lead growth, drive mix, drive margin, and think where we make money. Third, think about what's changing around the organization and create change within the organization in moments that really matter for your company. Fourth, develop purpose or point of view more than positioning. It's more important that the organization knows why it's doing what it's doing than the position it has in the category. And finally, inspire a full-on connected culture to deliver that purpose so that the consumer has the right brand experience end-to-end -end whenever they get in touch with the company through all of the digital touch points of today. I think it's really important for CMOs to lead growth and not just marketing because the marketing function needs to become more outcome oriented and by focusing on growth that drives the important priorities that marketing will work on in order to drive results for the for the business if we just think about marketing activities it's more can become more of an input than an output and i think that sometimes undermines the role of marketing where in fact the purpose is to drive growth and that's what cmos need to lead Marketers need to get much better at marketing in the moment because we're working with an always-on consumer and we need an always-on organization that's going to connect with those consumers. How we do it is not so easy and I think every company is on that journey. But I think we need to think about who are the partners that we're working with who can help us to live in this always-on environment and how are we going to organize ourselves to deliver against it. Is that going to come internally from changing what people work on in terms of content delivery or are we going to do it externally choosing good partners who can deliver that content for us. The important thing is to start the journey, as we are at Igloo, as to how we go from being a broadcast brand in big staged moments to how we go to being an always-on brand every moment. It's difficult, but it's a journey we need to start. I think purpose is really important, and I think it wins over positioning because positioning is about the category and purpose is about the organisation. Purpose is not about what we do, but about why we do it. And I think it's really important, not just for our consumers, but for our employees, why we do what we do today. It's about putting meaning into what we do, and it's about putting values at the center of how we do it. And therefore, for companies of the future, um, putting that purpose at the center of the organization is much more important than positioning. Positioning is important. We need to know how we're competing against our competitors, but why we are doing it and what we are doing that is useful, what our purpose is to the consumer that is really valuable and useful, is what can bind the organization together to win. In terms of the key focus for marketers in 2015, I'll tell you what I'm focused on and what our organization is focused on, which is probably a good place to start. I think what's going to be really important is defining a really good brand purpose that lives the values of the companies in a meaningful way for consumers so that we can make the transition from a broadcast brand to an engagement brand. And we need that clear purpose in order to have a single and clear um, engagement strategy with consumers through all the touch points. That's what can really guide the focus of how we communicate and what we communicate.